<laughs> There's a favourite item which appears in many people's puzzle collections and toy collections called the two donkeys and two riders and you have to cut them out and arrange them so that it looks as though the two riders are sitting riding the horses and to start with it seems to be impossible. This is invented by Sam Lloyd, uh, a famous and much revered puzzle inventor in the 1880s and it was a tremendous hit about the same time he was producing that one I've shown before with um, Get Off the World Puzzle. But this was a huge hit of his. He based it I think on a 17th century Persian carpet design which showed two horses back to back. Uh, and you'll see what he means by that. So that's the uh, that's the original. Here's just the first two variations on it, which I'll bring the thing down to. Uh, and this is almost identical to the one I've shown, except it's in colour. So that's the solution. Because the two riders, the, suddenly the horses break into a gallop. What you're doing is putting them back to back, like that. The obvious way of doing it is that. And you find then you've got a very strange situation which even an acrobat couldn't do because the, the rider's upside down, somehow holding onto the horse, not falling off, and he's facing the wrong direction. So <laughs> that's not going to work. And people despair of finding a solution. But what you want to do is to break that horse into two halves, either have him this way, with two, the, 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 the front and the back of the horse, and it's galloping hard, or this one with the back and the back and quite placid and hardly even walking at all. You do it in that version like that, and then when you place a piece across there, which is very counterintuitive, and a lot of people found a great f trouble in finding this, we have two horses now, belly to belly, as it were, and racing across um, the plain. So that's that's the, uh, the first one. That's the main one to show you. Here's a first variation of it, where the horses are very strange elongated bodies, and the reason is that when you want to set it up, it actually makes a much better version of the two riders. The horses aren't quite so paws and claws in the air. Uh, they, they look quite natural, much more naturalistic, as if they are really just having a good gallop. Um, and it works both ways up too. I turn it around, you can see it works that way up as well. A little bit, just a little bit out of sync, but you've got the idea. So people like doing variations on it, and over the years, quite a number of variations have risen, but really genuine difficult, different ones. Here's a couple of them which I'm very pleased to have found. It took me some time in my collecting world to come across ones like these. The first is three pieces. Three pieces, not two. This is made by a lovely American, uh, Australian guy, Keith Dougal, who makes a very nice version of the... So what you've got to do with these things is, because they're transparent, lay them down at 120 degrees to each other, but I'll do it on the table to make it look work. Then you've got three riders and three horses, not two riders and two horses. So there's the first piece, like that. The second piece goes so that the part of the body there matches with his with the end of his thing there, like that. There's a space here for another horse and another rider up the far end. Now what I'm going to do is get them into place. Uh, that's just about not quite there. No, that's okay there. He needs to be a bit further around there. This one's way out of sync. This one is way out of sync. Something like that. It's getting close to that. That's approximately it, but as you turn it round, there's three horses at 120 degrees to each other, all broken to a big gallop and having a wonderful time. I'll see if I can get this on back on my thing and put it, bring it up to the camera a bit more. I'll put it there. Once it's set up, of course, it's difficult to do. As you tilt it round, you see. Also, he's put the riders in three very different positions, doesn't it? Which is very nice. So that's a splendid version of it. It works extremely well. Um, on you know on, on the right sort of white surface of the background and the last one to show you is also a bit iffy and tricky but it's got a very clever idea to it which is nice it's just these two pieces here it's got uh, steers instead of horses and it's got there we are there's the two riders which are proper properly made up cowboys and if you do that you can't do that with the, as you do with the old one the, the horses are riding upside down the, the, the riders and facing the wrong direction you're supposed to do that but now look what's going to happen we've got him facing the other direction there's the front of the thing and there's the back he he can't be facing backwards what do you do well it's a rather interesting idea this what you're supposed to do is to turn it around 
so it's facing the other way and then I'll just set it up and you put, you put a little light box behind it and we'll see if we can get him to look roughly like a rider riding a horse. Here's a light box. So he is facing the right direction at last, thank goodness for that. What you're supposed to do, I think, uh, you don't have a light box, is you just put it on the window like this. You just place it on the window, put, make sure you turn the other piece around like that, and then look through the, the semi-transparent paper, and you get the two riders properly seated on the horses, on the, on the steers, and in the right direction. So that's a very clever idea to ask people to imagine that what they want to do is to turn the thing around and see it from one side facing forward, the other backwards, and it, and it works. There's some more ideas coming, but there is a, a good start. Um, starting off with a simple original idea and coming up with really quite inventive stuff. Look out for these. It's a very nice, simple puzzle to buy in the original form, and then you can start thinking creatively, how do you add variations or meaningful ones? Hmm.